and welcome back to Otaku No Videos. Always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I am reviewing Martian Successor Nadesco, a hugely popular anime series from the mid 90s. And the most important thing to know about it is this Nadesco is a parody of mecha anime series and it is a top notch mecha anime series. This is actually extremely hard to pull off. Legend has it the staff were working on the project one day and they were putting in all the requisite mecha anime elements and the director turned to them and said this is such a pastiche of existing anime cliches what if we just made it a parody? Fortunately Nadesco is a loving parody. It laughs at all of the tired cliches of mecha anime and anime in general and it celebrates the things that keep bringing us back. It has characters we care about, dealing with tough choices, big sacrifices, high octane action, and sweeping stories. Fortunately, the staff chose some elements that are very well suited to their needs. The show is about a hastily assembled starship crew on a ridiculously powerful battle cruiser sent to fight mysterious aliens. Yes, we've all heard that before, that's the point. The crew includes a nervous, supernaturally skilled male pilot character who just wants to be a cook, a brainless female captain, a quiet girl who laughs uproariously at weird puns, a voice actress, no I'm not kidding, a blue haired emotionless little girl with a psychic link to the ship, and a skirt chasing chief mechanic among others. So with this crew the staff can just as easily tell ridiculous sitcom stories as tough war stories and fortunately they do. Nadesco works because of its writing and its direction. I have rarely seen a show that is this confident in its presentation. The direction is amazingly crisp and appropriate to the action. When it's fast, it's fast. When it needs to be slow, it is slow. There is no wasted movement, there is no wasted action. You get exactly what you need. It is amazing. And the writers tell the story at an extremely measured pace. Now I don't mean that in a monotonic sense. I mean that the story moves at yeah, a, a very confident pace. The writers seem to know exactly what beats that they want to hit. And this show can turn on a dime. You'll get a few episodes of light screwball comedy, followed by a punch in the gut moment. These characters are fighting a war. People die. Okay, on to the art. Now Nadesco is made in the last days of hand-painted cell animation and it certainly shows. It has that same slightly sketchy feel of 80s and 90s animation. Interestingly, the uh, crew also goes with a relatively muted and relatively dark color palette which actually reminds me a bit more of the darker anime series of say the 80s as opposed to the slightly brighter color palette of the 90s. Now the animation doesn't even try to be naturalistic or realistic. It is classic 80s and 90s stylized animation and movements. Characters strike poses, so forth and so on. That is very much intentional though. The animation remains high quality though and by that I mean the characters are almost never off model, very consistently drawn. The only time when they're not the exact same drawing style is when they're clearly being handed over to a specific animator to get that specific animator's style on them. This is something that has become common among uh, anime fans in, uh, uh, over in Japan is to give them a little something by taking a famous animator and throwing them into, into a show so folks can say, oh, that's clearly a sequence by this particular animator. Now one thing I want to point out is a, an important element that ADV Films actually adapted perfectly and it's a good example of the complexities of adaptation. One of the important elements of the show is this show within a show. So within the Desico, the characters on the ship become increasingly obsessed with this cheesy 70s giant robot anime series called Gekiganger, which is invented for the purposes of Nadesco, it's kind of complicated, but anyway. So the characters are all sitting around watching this cheesy anime series. Now in the Japanese dub of Nadesco, when these clip, clips of Gekiganger come on, they're all dubbed using this very flat monotonic, oh no, here comes Gekiganger, we must crush it. Because in Japan, that's what those dubs sounded like 
uh, back in the 70s. Over here, of course, we got a different style of dub. So for ADV Films dub of Nadesico, the Gekiganger sequences are all dubbed like, Curse you, Gekiganger 3! It's terrible dubs, which is perfect. It's exactly what it should be. And so I want to uh, say how impressed I am with ADV Films for understanding the intent of the original joke and adapting it properly for American audiences. All in all, you'll enjoy Nadesico if you can appreciate its unique, and I do mean unique, flavor. There's this relentless screwball comedy punctuated by serious drama, along with joyous celebration of mecha and anime cliches. It's an acquired taste, but boy did I enjoy that flavor.